In this video, we're going to learn how to download and install MuseScore 4 onto your computer. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using Windows. Now, the process on Mac OS is very similar. The process on Linux and on Chromebooks is different enough that I'm going to cover those systems separately. Now, the starting point for download on all systems is going to be MuseScore.org. MuseScore.org is the site where you go to download the software and also to get support. Do not get this confused with MuseScore.com, which is the website where you can go to share scores once you've installed MuseScore. So here on MuseScore.org, we're going to click the big free download button. When you do this, it's actually going to download a small program called MuseHub. MuseHub is what is then going to allow us to download MuseScore itself, as well as Muse Sounds, the new orchestral library. So I can go ahead and save the MuseHub installer, and then click that to install MuseHub. MuseHub, again, is a very small program, and I give it permission to install. And when I do that, it is now going to open Muse Hub. So Muse Hub is this window we are now looking at here. And in Muse Hub, this is where we're actually going to download MuseScore by simply clicking the MuseScore icon in the Apps section. When you click that, it will then download MuseScore to your system and install it for you. Also within the Muse Hub are the Muse Sounds, and there's several different packages here. There's the strings, the choir, the brass, the harp, percussion, woodwind, and keys. You can grab them all. I will say that this will take about 15 gigabytes of space on your hard drive, and therefore will also take uh, a little while to download. So maybe don't grab the sounds unless you know you have both the space and the time for it, but I definitely do recommend you grab them when you can because they are amazing. And that is all there is to it. Click the MuseScore button under Apps to download and install MuseScore. Click the individual sounds under Muse Sounds to download and install those sounds. One final note that's specific to Windows, if you click off of MuseHub, it disappears, and then when you look at the taskbar, you won't see an icon for it. That is because MuseHub actually runs from your system tray at the bottom right. So you'll need to click the icon in your system tray to get back to MuseHub. MuseHub is designed to run all the time so it can automatically update your application as well as your sounds in the background. So that's all there is to downloading and installing MuseScore as well as Muse Sounds.